Good afternoon. I'm Professor Neil Fowler, and it's my honour to be the Dean of Students of this fine university. And I would like to warmly welcome you all to this University of Salford graduation ceremony. Before we begin, I would like you to thank our fabulous graduation band made up of members of our university community. <laughs> Graduands. That may be a new term for many of you to hear, but it's what we refer to you as before you have had your degrees formally conferred upon you through today's ceremony. It'll change before the end of the day. So graduates, your relationship with the university does not end when you graduate. In fact, it's only just beginning. You're now a member of a global community of over 175,000 graduates. We would love to keep in contact with you and ensure that you're kept up to date with the latest benefits and services available to you as a member of our alumni network. Look out for an email from our alumni engagement team over the next couple of days inviting you, it's important, inviting you to download a clip of yourself walking across the stage today. So remember, you're on camera all the way across the stage. <laughs> the team will also be in touch to provide you with information about our Graduate Life website provides useful information and tips for life as a graduate, from careers advice to travelling and managing your money. And you'll be invited to join the From Salford, our exciting new alumni networking and mentoring hub, instantly connecting you with an online community of Salford alumni and supporters living across the globe, giving you the opportunity to expand your professional network, get helpful careers tips from leaders in your field, and even request one to become your mentor. Now finally, housekeeping. Before we begin, may I ask you to check that your phones are all switched to silent, but please don't feel the need to turn them off. We would love you to keep using them to take pictures and share your experiences throughout the ceremony, so please feel free to do that as we're going on, but just without the sounds. The ceremony will now begin and I would like all of those of you who are able, please, to stand for the academic procession.
I can now declare this ceremony open to present the awards from the University of Salford. Graduates and distinguished guests, please welcome Professor Margaret Rowe, Dean of the School of Health and Society. Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the graduation of Health and Society. It is so pleasing to see so many of our students and their families here today. Um, we really want you to enjoy yourself. Um, we're really proud of all of the work that you've done and all the success and um, when you come on stage, we've got a fantastic chancellor here for you to shake hands with, so don't be shy. We want you to really enjoy your time here. I just want to tell you a little few things about the school. Um, we've had a great deal of success over the past year with series of awards that students and staff have won for their volunteering, for their citizenship, really making a difference to what is actually going on into our community. We've had some fantastic successes with our research, um, with individuals leading on uh, a piece of research around the Anti-Poverty Task Force, which is really changing and influencing national policy, but having a major effect on what is occurring in Salford, partnered with Salford City Council. Earlier this year, we were really fortunate in winning a doctoral school funded by ESC part, ERSCP, um, and with, that was led by Professor Malcolm Grant and Professor Chris Nestor and Dr. Jane McAdam. That is around prosthetics and orthotics, and it is going to make such a difference to that particular area, the skills gap that is within that area. It's the first allied health doctoral school in the country, and the first focus around prosthetics and orthotics. And we're really privileged and proud of the staff who've led that, working with London Imperial um, University, Strathclyde University, and Southampton University. We've got a number of students from all parts of the globe with us, and we really feel that's a, a real honour for students to A, choose the University of Salford, but also the, the School of Health and Society. That really makes a difference to people's lives uh, and, and challenges what, we, we, what we're thinking about and what our values are. We also had an excellent um, week around dementia. The Salford Institute of Dementia has an exciting time and we were really fortunate that Christopher Eccleston, known as Doctor Who, um, in many a fellow Salfordian, was named as the patron this year. Some of the areas that we've really expanded in is really pushing the boundaries to try and get our students involved in more activities around um, within sport, within clinics. And we've developed a partnership with um, Manchester um, innovation, oh, I've got sorry, I've, MIP, uh, Manchester Institute for Health and Performance, where our students are developing running clinics and different types of cl clinics working within that really well esteemed um, area. The school has had some real successes and we're really proud of the students. You really do make the difference to what we do and the academics enjoy and thrive on working with yourselves. It's great to see some of the successes, but also to hear about the satisfaction you have with the programs that we are delivering, working in partnership with industry, looking at our employability statistics, the amount of students that have identified that this is a really good place to learn and to live. So thank you again. I've talked a little bit about the school. I want to talk about and introduce about the exciting year the university's had. There's been a series of significant achievements, and I'm very proud to introduce now our presiding officer of the ceremony, Chancellor Jackie Gray. Jackie Kay, sorry. Thank you. Thank you. 
I haven't had that pleasure of being introduced as Jackie Gray before. <laughs> I'm going to have it. I'm taking it. Um, welcome, everybody. It's a real delight to, to see you here today. And it is um, a privilege and an honor to be part of these ceremonies, these ceremonies and to share in your very important, special day. Graduation days are so interesting in so many different ways. They're kind of bittersweet days. Um, you're, you're excited about your achievement. Um, you're looking forward to the future, but you're also sad to be leaving all the different friends that you've made. Hopefully some of them will be lifelong friends, and hopefully some of the experiences that you've had here at Salford will change your life and shape your life for many years to come. So today is what I'd call one of those special double days, a day where you feel lots of different things. And for your family um, and friends, it, it can be that same, that same feeling too. But mostly, it's a joyous thing, graduation, and we're here to congratulate you all as our next generation of graduates and to wish you well and to tell you how proud we are as you embark on this next chapter of your life. I want to extend a very well warm welcome to, to, to your families and friends because they are often the people that have supported you on this special journey. Hello, family. <laughs> and hello, friends. You'll have developed intellectually, you hope. Well, you can but hope. And, um, and you'll have developed socially, and you'll have developed personally. And you, you'll be taking all of these different developments into this next part of your life. And whatever you do in this next part of your life, we'll be here uh, cheering you on, and hoping that some of the qualities that you've developed will, will stay with you, definitely. Perhaps like many of you here today, I was the first in my family to go to university. I was from an ordinary working class family who were over the moon to support me. If you told me that I would one day be stood here as Chancellor of the University of Salford and as the National Poet of Scotland, the Macker, also known as AKA the Macker, uh, I would have told you you were having a laugh. I was adopted when I was made uh, uh, and when I was made Macker, the National Poet of Scotland, three years ago, my mum said to me, who would have ever thought that wee baby we brought home in the basket would one day grow up to be Macker? <laughs> Just kind of funny. And now he's travelling around Scotland. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. That's, that's very kind. And now travelling around Scotland, people keep stopping me to ask me if I'm the macker. I was on the ferry the other day from Benbecula to Harris and the Hebrides, and the man helping me with my luggage said to me, am I right in thinking that you're the macker? I said, aye. <laughs> I'm your macker. <laughs> it made me think I should have some sort of special powers. But... But actually, you know, being a, being a poet and being here at all, being stood here at all, is really probably due to an accident that I had when I was 17. I had a very um, bad motorbike accident on my Honda 50. And before that, I was a Scottish schoolgirl championship runner. Quite hard to believe. I'm glad none of you laughed. Very kind. <laughs> That's very kind of you. But anyway, yes, um, the bone came right out of my leg and I landed on, went over, hit three cars all together. And the first car was an English teacher at my school. And um, the third car I went right over the roof of and I landed um, outside the graveyard on Kirkintilloch Road. My mum said, we could have just thrown you over the wall. <laughs> <laughs> But anyway, it was a year and a half before I walked again properly, and during that time, I, uh, I just took to writing and to, and to reading and became really, really passionate because I was laid up, so there wasn't a lot else to do. Anyway, the English teacher that was uh, in the accident, she, she, didn't, she kind of avoided me as I was going about with the walking stick for a year and a half. And, um, but not that long ago, I had got a letter from her just out of the blue, so this is 40 years later. And she said to me, if you died in that accident, you wouldn't have written any of your books. And I told this to my dad on the phone, and he went, Christ, it wouldn't have been our first concern. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
So, there's so many different ways of feeling special and of taking opportunities when strange things happen to you, when life takes, when life throws you these curveballs. It's actually how we try and respond to them that makes a difference to all of us. And we all know that through whatever kind of difficulties that we've been through or losses that we've been through. I often think that our lives are more defined by losses than they are by anything else. And yet when the terrible things do happen, when the fires erupts and the bombs go off, what we're most often touched by is the knowledge that people communally must make a difference. We could call it a collective kindness. It's even more necessary that we draw upon our specialisms and expertise, not just, but on our empathy and our kindness, our fantastic human ability to step outside of our own shoes, even our own running shoes, and imagine somebody else's life. As Mahatma Gandhi observed, the best way to find yourself is to lose yourself in the service of others. It's when people do extraordinary things for others that we are the most inspired. When nurses like Mary Seacole, Florence Nightingale, or Elsie Ingalls dedicate their lives to helping the wounded, we are inspired. When divers risk their own lives to save the lives of football teams, we are inspired. I could go on, you could probably go on, but the point is that in life, try to give your utmost. Nobody ever regrets giving the most, but people do routinely regret not doing their absolute best. You've all demonstrated your abilities and your skills and your drive by arriving here today, and you should all be really, really, really proud of yourselves. You are students of being doing the university proud too over the past 12 months. 25 of our fashion students showcased their collections in the New York Fashion Week. Two of our law students represented the UK at the Commonwealth Legal Association moot in Zambia, and 14 of our graduates and honorary graduates were named in the Queen's Honours List. These are just a few of the examples, and you heard a few earlier. Um, graduation ceremonies are quite interesting ways of taking stock of what's going on in the fashion world. <laughs> I particularly like it when I get a student with a kilt. A man in a kilt is enough to turn the head of the honest lesbian. <laughs> and also a wee piece of advice as the, as the students are coming by and shaking, shaking my hand and I'll take my time with each and every one of you and be looking into the eyes of each and every one of you. It's always fascinating to note the footwear, you know? So keep the eyes on the feet, I say. That's my advice to you as, you as you see the different people going by. All of this combined success and achievement is not going unnoticed, actually. We're the fastest growing university in the Northwest and the fifth fastest in the country. We have more students than ever applying to join us um, to be here where you sit today. Our staff alongside me on this stage today have encouraged you during your university career and helped you recognise and reach your potential. Your supporters and families and friends have also encouraged you along the way, offering emotional and financial support. So I think that this support that you've received deserves an enormous round of applause. Would you stand up, please, all the students, and give your, your family, friends and the staff here a huge round of applause. This part of your Salford journey will end, but a new one begins. And from today, you'll become alumni of this great university, joining a community of over 175,000 student graduates around the world. Remember that this university is your university, and if you want to come back, we will welcome you with open Salford arms. Sounds like the name of a pub. <laughs> we might even welcome you in the pub. And you might be going to the pub later, I imagine, some of you, to celebrate and have a wee tipple or two to celebrate your success. And it's uh, very, very much earned. 
So I'd like finally to reflect on your abilities and your social obligations as graduates. Let your empathy and your social care, your kindness and your intuition, your talent and your instinct, your, your sense of social values and your sense of what is right and wrong take you far. Let the world welcome its new stars. As Desmond Tutu said it, do your little bit of good in the world and together we can overwhelm the world. We put the little bits of good together and we keep on doing them. That's all we can really do as human beings is put the little bits of good together. I was adopted, as I said earlier, and I always felt special being adopted. My mum said, we picked you. Other people had to take what they got. <laughs> so, <laughs> so thank you. So find your own ways being in health and society, find your own ways of feeling special and find your own ways of making every patient that you come across feel special, of recognizing their individuality and of recognizing their humanity. And if you do that as people um, going forth into this world that we live in, you will, um, you will be doing very, very well in, indeed. My mum is actually in hospital. Um, right now, and, but she wanted me to, to give you all uh, her, her best. And the last time that she got out of hospital, I'd bought her a brand new, sartorially pleasing poppy red zimmer. And uh, she said to me on her first trip out of the hospital, she said, Jackie, you should have seen all the women crowding around me in the hairdressers. Talk about zimmer envy. <laughs> So I would like to finish with reading you a poem that I wrote for, for you all graduating and I hope you enjoy your day and I hope you go forward in, from this day onwards to do extraordinary things. Dear graduate, today is the day you switch from graduand to graduate. A couple of hours will have conferred your state, a name that's been three years more in the making and especially if you started late. How the years they seem to hover rush, hesitate. Yet, here you are, nearly graduates. Congrats, well done. About to cross over to ample hours, fertile land, to stride the borders, corridors, to the shy unknown, and grasp the future with two bold hands. Today's minutes will be remembered, intimately known, where the future's clock is not yet set to run how the mirrors will turn into windows, open to the sun, or what shape days might offer close at hand. Let them proffer luck and chance, dear graduands. We will now commence the presentation of the postgraduate awards for the School of Health and Society, and each student will be presented individually for their award. I would like to invite Professor Margaret Rowe, Dean of the School of Health and Society, to present the PhD awards. Chancellor, I'd like to present for awards in Health and Society, Doctor of Philosophy. With the title, A Test of Situational Action Theory in Saudi Arabia, Nora al Ruwali. <laughs> Doctor of Philosophy with the title, A Criminological Critique of Body-Worn Cameras in Policing, the case of the United Emirates, Mohammed Al Shihi. <laughs> Dr. 
With the title, a revised cost-benefit analysis tool capable, capable of analysing the effects of vocational rehabilitation, Tamara Meg, Megan Brown. <clears throat> With the title, Placing Children in Care at the Centre Stage, Exploring the experiences and perceptions of children in care about their pathways into offending behaviour, Anne Marie Day. <clears throat> With the title Hear Us Speak, listening to women's experiences of perinatal distress and transactional analysis, psychology, uh, psychotherapy treatment they receive. Emma Haynes. <clears throat> With the title Defining and Measuring the Personal and Professional Development of Healthcare Professionals on International Placements in Low and Middle Income Countries, Natasha Tyler. With the title Disability, Social Work and Social Exclusion, New Strategies for Achieving Social in Inclusion of People with Physical Disabilities in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, Ra Arabia Rahim Youssef. <laughs> with the award of Professional doctorate <laughs> with the title Telephone Street Triage A Service User's Perspective Claire Carson <clears throat> with the title The Use and Application of Knowledge in Practice The Lived Experience of Social Workers in Adult Services Anthony Heskett With the title An Account of Silence in Diagnostic Radiography, a Cultural Quilt, Tracy Jane O'Regan. <clears throat> Chancellor, that concludes my presentation of the doctoral students. We will continue the presentation of the postgraduate awards for the School of Health and Society. I would like to invite Dr. Vicky Halliwell, Deputy Dean of the School of Health and Society, to present these awards. Chancellor, on behalf of the Learning Development Unit, I present for the award of Postgraduate Certificate Academic Practice, Bethan Haney. Inji Kenway. <clears throat> On behalf of the School of Health and Society, I present for the award of Master of Arts Social Work, Maruk Bhatti. <clears throat> Kirsty Fretwell. Samuel Lee Hinson. <clears throat> Helen Maria Lutwama. <clears throat> Lisa Carolyn Mann. <clears throat> Holanre Waju Johnson Olorade. Yolanda Safi. Thank you. 
<laughs> Bernice Siwade. Amuchani Chivako. For the award of Master of Science, Advanced Clinical Practice, Carrie Adams. Dawn Atkinson. Victoria Belfield Upton. Jane Bennett. Peter Burkett. Eleanor Bradley. Evelyn Charsley. Louise Dean. Charlene Dearden. Stella Evison. Rena Victoria Fletcher. Victoria Claire Hamer. Emma Cannon. Helen Hatton. Paul Michael Hickey. Rachel Hine. Joanne Holcroft. Emma Howard. Lisa Hurst. Peter Huxley. Katrina Jones. Rebecca Lee. Duncan Lyle Lindsay. Gemma Lister. Donna Patricia Lathium. Dean Lyon. Philippa McMahon. Robert Moon. Elizabeth Pack. Angeline Price. Natalie Retberg. Elizabeth Solomon. <laughs> Kerry Jane Spinks. <laughs> Nicola Stafford. <laughs> Roger Thananki. <laughs> John Wormsley. Sarah Jane Wilkes. For a Master of Science, Applied Social Work Practice, Karen Elizabeth Hewer. For a Master of Science, Cognitive Behavioural Psychotherapy, Imelda Athern.
Tara Hussein. Amar Kareem Nazib. Natalie Maria Whitaker. Leanne Yasumis. For a Master of Science, Counselling and Psychotherapy Professional Training, Jacqueline Bounds. Charlotte Emma Conn. Abigail Cooper. Lucy Fish. Aziza Khartoum. Sarah Kate McInnes. Charlotte Lucy Moran. Bisisiwe Laura Nunksmalo. Jeannie Ann Parr. Nicola Pott. Carmel Wanless. For a Master of Science, Dementia, Care and the Enabling Environment, Sitimbele Moyo. For a Master of Science, Diabetes Care, Susan Goodwin. For a Master of Science, Geriatric Medicine, Shelley Gadry. For a Master of Science, Leadership and Management for Healthcare Practice, Khalifan Mahmood Martoun Al Hadrami. <laughs> Abdullah Salah Al Yami. <laughs> Hani Mayaya M. Alyani. <laughs> Benjamin Vickers. For a Master of Science, Leading Education for Health and Social Care Reform, Michelle Cunningham. <laughs> Leslie Richardson. For a Master of Science, Social Policy, Sarah Harris. Elizabeth Tinsley. For a Master of Science, the Criminal Justice Process, Pauline Fongliokwe. <laughs> Postgraduate Diploma, Cognitive Behavioural Psychotherapy, Jason Kinder. <laughs> For a Postgraduate Diploma, Counselling and Psychotherapy Professional Training, Gillian Gill. Adam Laidler. Matthew Murray. For postgraduate diploma, social work, step up, Elizabeth Amos. Tracy Bailey. Dale Beatty. Aaron Batley Simpson. Samantha Jane Elizabeth Binks. 
Rebecca Birtwistle. Theresa Catley. Lisa Ching. Sally Ann Clark. Karenza Cutting. Hayley Danson. Mary Davis. Elizabeth Dodd. Sinead Tara Ellison. Alexandra Goddard. Sidoni Goss. Katie Hill. Rebecca Howarth. Stephanie Humphreys. Karen Mara. Kimberly McLaughlin Knowles. Jenny McVeigh. Georgina Moxham. Sue Naylor. Sean Pett. Julie Ann Reed. Sarah Ross. Jacqueline Shaw. Jessica Street. Sharon Louise Taylor. Michelle Webb. Mary Windsor. Philip Benjamin Wood. Sarah Wood. Postgraduate Certificate in Cognitive Behavioural Therapy, Jade Elizabeth Remy Ola. And that concludes the Postgraduate Awards. We will now present the undergraduate awards for the School of Health and Society. And once again, each student will be presented individually for their award. I would like to invite Dr. Karen Stansfield, Associate Dean, Enterprise and Engagement of the School of Health and Society, to present these awards. Chancellor, on behalf of the School of Health and Society, I present for the award of Bachelor of Arts for Honours Social Work, Marcus John Abraham. <laughs> Alouche Adekola. <laughs> Farad Amin. <laughs> Tyler Andrew. Claire Barry. Mizuma Begum. Paula Bellavia Skirma. Abigail Kelly Bootle. Nicola Rose Broadbend. Maureen Kyoto. Hannah Collins, Rebecca Jane Farrell, 
Chloe Foy. Alice Gildart. Jonathan George Glenn. Michelle Grimes. Melissa Harris. Lucy Holton. Claire Elizabeth Irving. Michelle Louise Isherwood. Sophie Chantel Jinks. Nicola Kelly. Nyla Khan. Salma Khan. Jennifer Langton. Precious Mavura. <laughs> Nicola Bagana. <laughs> Susan Nain. <laughs> Zama Princess Naduva. <laughs> Jessica Parkinson. Georgia Pennington. <laughs> Farah Kayan. <laughs> Laura Quinn. <laughs> Cody Scott. <laughs> Kylie Joanne Sheridan. Hannah Jane Smethills. <laughs> Emily Spivey. <laughs> Kieran Kenneth Vincent Spittle. <laughs> Eustine Thalumbo. <laughs> Olivia Rose Elizabeth <laughs> Kathleen Turner. Sharif Ohak. <laughs> Rachel Claire Walsh. <laughs> and Rebecca Jade Williams. <laughs> Bachelor of Science with Honours Counseling and Psychotherapy Professional Practice, Bushra Ahmed. Jessica Alexander. <laughs> Nisa Ambreen Ali. <laughs> Rebecca Rachel Harriet Blacker. <laughs> Emily Jane Rose Bradshaw. <laughs> Reuben Campbell. Kimberly Davis, Amy Durin, Abigail Jade Firth, Lana Geller, Katie Harper, Hannah Lee Horton. Janelle Carolee Jackson. David Andrew Jarvis. Amy McFetridge. Jake Christopher Mills. 
Alicia Sandra McKay Mulvana. Jade Neal. Jessica Oakley. Danika Adua Oduasi. Denise Claudio de Olivia Rodriguez. Chanda Ratto. Victoria Ann Richardson. Avital Rose. Rakita Anita Sanderson. Bridget Bernadette Sansom. Chloe Lucy Settle. Hilary Ann Smith. Hannah Starkle. Starkey, sorry. Helen Toward. Caroline Suzanne Walker. Leanne Walker. Georgia Williams. Victoria Ann Winfield. Bachelor of Science with Honours, Counselling and Psychotherapy, Theoretical Studies, Rebecca Bolger. Amanda Clark. Married Edwards. Marae Ijaz. Chloe Davenport. Holly Davis. Stevie Rose Delaney. Ellie Mae Dolan. Nolene Amanda Dove. Megan Ellis. Ellie Ferguson. Ellie Rose Francis Harbour. Maslin Hussein. Emma Hullock. Faziah Hussein. Siobhan Kelly. Tanya Khan. Matthew Lightfoot. Christopher Manley. Jennifer Claire McAloon. Mimi Moncheva. Imran Mohammed, Charlotte Oliver, Sherris Roberts, Taylor Jade Robinson, Adila Sajala. Alia Sikander, Victoria Skeen, Samuel Stacy, Nathan Street, Lydia Walker, Samuel Walker. Alicia Wilson. Lois Worthington.
Bachelor of Science with Honours Criminology and Sociology, Amir Ahmed. Aksa Ahmed. Tareen Akhtar. Georgia Alcovist O'Brien. Jennifer Bonsu. <laughs> Emily Day. Grace Lily Fisher. Ellie Fitzpatrick. Tyrone Grant. Jessica Nina Anna Green Howard. Lydia Haggerty. Holly Haslam. Emily Ann Howard. Autumn Kelly Farrell. Christopher Lowe. Matitwa Maxon Montali. Shona O'Hara. And Bandra Kazir. Bachelor of Science with Honours Enhancing Professional Healthcare Practice, Maria Helen Taylor. <laughs> ba Bachelor of Science with Honours Healthcare, Padmarina Barupa. Bachelor of Science with Honours Social Policy, Bamitla Comfort Damililo Adigaloye. <laughs> Ayesha Ahmed. Sarah Ulfuko Alhan. Angela Ampera. Josephine Mary Beckett. Nazima Begum. Chelsea Benson Bradbury, <laughs> Nazi Bibi, <laughs> Megan Louise Blades, <laughs> Rebecca Martin Kranz, <laughs> Catherine Kizoma, <laughs> Tanya Connolly. Vicky Downs. <laughs> Justin Filton, Fitton. Justine Fitton, sorry. Sophie Glynn. Stacey Hall. Hannah Hayes. Lucy Jemima Howe, George Anthony Howells, Michael McCone, Essie Mae McNally, Nina Mansar, Nicola Medusi Unashe. Sultana Salim, Paula Maria Spencer, Lisa Stone, Carrie Rebecca Thomas. 
Katie Thompson, Lucy Winston, Samantha Wright. Bachelor of Science with Honours Sociology, Georgia Burgess. Rebecca Wincy Chow. Ms. Bath Mitter. Thomas Morris. Emma Victoria Rogerson. Alexander James Zook. Diploma of Higher Education Healthcare, Rachel Helen Keeling. <laughs> Diploma of Higher Education Sociology, Natalie Sophie Scott. <laughs> Foundation Certificate Healthcare with Foundation Year, Caitlin Page Jameson. And finally, Bachelor of Science with Honours Counseling and Psychotherapy, Theoretical Studies, Mariam Jangir. <laughs> that concludes the Undergraduate Awards. Graduates, you noticed you've changed your names. Graduates and distinguished guests, that concludes the presentation of the awards from the School of Health and Society. Before I invite the Chancellor to close the ceremony, I would like to inform you that we'll be taking a group photograph of all of our new graduates outside the theatre on the piazza immediately after the ceremony. It's posh, isn't it? Therefore, can I ask all guests to remain in your seats until after all of the graduates have left the theatre. Graduates, can you please follow the academic procession straight out of the theatre to the piazza for the photograph. And those of you with the cameras, don't panic if you don't manage to get a shot of your own. The official versions will be shared over our various social media platforms in the coming days. Thank you. I would now like to invite the Chancellor, Professor Jackie Kay, to close the ceremony. Thank you. Um, it's been such a huge pleasure and an honour to see you all graduate today. In fact, I don't think I've ever actually presided over a ceremony where there's been so many people had tears in their eyes as they shook my hand. So it was immensely moving. And thank you to all the people that stopped to say lovely things to me. I was amazed that people took the time to do that. I would like to, on behalf of this university and as this university's chancellor, congratulate all of you new graduates 2019. <laughs> It's been an extraordinary ceremony and been an extraordinary way to see all of you different people cross the stage in all of your different ways, with all of your different walks and all of your different handshakes and all of your different outfits and all of your different expressions in your eyes. Each one of you is individual and each one of you is going to make an individual difference to our world. We're sitting here looking at the next generation of people that will hopefully make many of our lives much, much easier as we grow older. So thank you all very, very much for caring and for being in a caring society. Somebody stopped to say to me that they, they loved 
one of my books, which was amazing to me, which is called um, Red Dust Road. And it's actually a book about my, my life because my original father was from Nigeria. Yes, I thought there might be some Nigerians here. And my original mother was from the Highlands in Scotland. Somebody said to me once, what a combo. <laughs> It's a, quite, quite a combination, and uh, soon there's to be a play of that, that book on in Manchester soon, which is, which is funny. My mum keeps saying to me, who's going to be playing me? <laughs> and the woman that's playing me was in Star Wars, so I've got an upgrade. <laughs> it's always good, life imitating art, imitating life. It's always good if you can get an upgrade one way or another. Anyway, it is now time to actually wish you huge luck and your journeys ahead and hoping that life surprises you in different ways and hoping when you come to these forks in the road and you get these surprising opportunities that you go with the fork that, that gives you the best results and hoping too that you understand that even when we fail we succeed in a different way because we learn as much from our different failures or from our, or the different things that we don't get quite right in our lives as we learn from the things that we do and we all know that as human beings so I wish you well on your journey from today on it really has been an immense pleasure being stood here as your Chancellor in a moment I'm going to ask the graduates to stand up and put on their hats but before I do a little cautionary tale I've had twice in my life when I could have died in a very absurd way. Once when I was a hospital porter, and I was a, the only woman hospital porter in Westminster Hospital, and the men didn't like having a woman porter back then. It was like 40, 30 years ago. And uh, the, the safety catch wa wasn't working on the oxygen cylinders properly, but nobody told me. And so I was down there, and suddenly all these oxygen cylinders started to fall to the ground, and I nearly got hit by one, and that would have been a crazy death. A crazy death to be hit by an oxygen cylinder. And the other one was here in my first year as Chancellor a couple of years ago. Um, the students were asked to throw their hats for the group photograph. And somebody threw their hat very enthusiastically. And it felled me and knocked me to the ground. <laughs> Actually knocked me unconscious for a few seconds. And what a silly death that would have been. So when you, when you raise your hats today, I'd, I'd offer you to be a little bit cautious and I'll be keeping mine firmly on. Yes, a mortal, a mortal wound by a mortar board is, is not what we want. So it's been a huge pleasure. I hope everybody has enjoyed themselves. Has everybody enjoyed themselves? Yeah. Wow, wonderful, wonderful. That's what we want. We want you to enjoy yourselves. Before I, before I finish, I would like to say a massive round of thanks to the people at the Lowry Theatre and the staff here in red that helped these ceremonies go by so well. Thank you. I'd like to say another thank you to our fabulous band right here behind that have been playing a brand new piece of music. I'd like to thank our fabulous events team that put these graduation ceremonies together so well. They're so complicated to organize. Thank you to them. I'd like to thank Temi, our mace carrier, carrying the mace for the first time. And last but not least, I thank all of you for coming and for traveling the distances that you have traveled to be with us today. Massive thank yous to everybody. Now new graduates, now new graduates, could I please ask you to stand and put on your hats. Once the hats are on, I know it's a fiddly business with the hats. Doffing here, doffing there. Can I ask everybody else to stand up and finish the day with a massive round of applause?
Thank you, and it gives me great pleasure to now declare this ceremony closed.